Dr. Barrett here, Implant Profiles 101. We have high profile, we have low profile, we have moderate, we have moderate plus. What does it all mean? Well, I'm gonna tell you. The amount of projection you get versus width is what determines the profile. Okay, so if you have very low projection and a lot of width, it's a low profile. If you have something in between, it's a moderate. It could be also a moderate plus, which is a little bit more, and you can have a high profile, which is a lot of projection for uh, a short amount of width. Now, high profile doesn't mean it's higher up on your chest. It means it's higher out this way, and it becomes more narrow. I actually stay away from them because they're very heavy, and they put a lot of pressure on the bottom part of the breast, so you get a higher rate of bottoming out. My go-to is moderate and moderate plus because they have a higher surface area to support the implant and prevent bottoming out. It also develops develops your cleavage better and avoids that refund gap when you have a huge amount of projection here and a very narrow implant. I also stay away from low profiles because they tend to look a little bit too flat and too wide. Bottom line is make sure you go to a doctor who has these different options for you and can explain the differences and do measurements on your body to see what's right for you. Thanks for watching.